Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the memorial of St. Agatha. Let us pray in this Mass that we may imitate her purity and her great love for God, so that we may become less unworthy to partake of the mysteries of God's love. Let us now humbly call to mind our many sins and entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you give us new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May the Virgin Martyr, Saint Agatha, Implore your compassion for us, O Lord, we pray, for she found favor with you by the courage of her martyrdom and the merit of her chastity. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first book of Kings. Solomon went to Gibeon to sacrifice there because that was the most renowned high place. Upon its altar, Solomon offered a thousand burned offerings. In Gibeon, 
the Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream at night. God said, Ask something of me, and I will give it to you. Solomon answered, You have shown great favor to your servant, my father David, because he behaved faithfully toward you, with justice and a bright heart. And you have continued this great favor toward him, even today, sitting a son of his on his throne. O Lord, my God, you have made me your servant, king to succeed my father David. But I am a mere youth, not knowing at all how to act. I serve you in the midst of the people whom you have chosen, a people so vast that it cannot be numbered or counted. Give your servant, therefore, an understanding heart to judge your people and to distinguish right from wrong. For who is able to govern this vast people of yours? The Lord was pleased that Solomon made this request. So God said to him, Because you have asked for this, not for a long life for yourself, not for riches, nor for the life of your enemies, but for understanding so that you may know what is right, I do as you requested. I give you a heart so wise and understanding that there has never been anyone like you up to now. In addition, I will give you what you have not asked for, such riches and glory that among kings there is not your like. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, teach me your statutes. Lord, teach me your statutes. How shall a young man be faultless in his way? By keeping to your words. Lord, teach me your statutes. With all my heart, I seek you. Let me not stray from your commands. Lord, teach me your statutes. Within my heart, I treasure your promise that I may not sin against you. Lord, teach me your statutes. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Lord, teach me your statutes. With my lips I declare all the ordinances of your mouth. Lord, teach me your statutes. In the way of your decrees I rejoice, as much as in all riches. Lord, teach me your statutes. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. The apostles gathered together with Jesus and reported all they had done and taught. He said to them, Come away by yourselves to a deserted place and rest a while. People were coming and going in great numbers, and they had no opportunity even to eat. So they went off in the boat by themselves to a deserted place. People saw them leaving, and many came to know about it. They hastened there on foot for, from all the towns 
and arrived at the place before them. When Jesus disembarked and saw the vast crowd, his heart was moved with pity for them, for they were like sheep without a shepherd, and he began to teach them many things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, today we are reminded of an important lesson in our Christian life, and that is to think less of ourselves and to think more of others. This is the example that Solomon showed us in our first reading today. Solomon succeeded his father David as king of Israel. And Solomon prayed to God In our first reading today, we heard what Solomon asked for. Solomon told God to give him an understanding heart to judge the people and to distinguish right from wrong. Solomon did not ask for a long life so that he will rule for a long time. Solomon did not ask for more wealth, more riches, or more power. Solomon did not ask for the life of his enemies. Hindi ipinagdasal ni Solomon na sana yumaman pa ako, mas maging makapangyarihan pa ako, mas lumawak ang aking kaharian, at mawala na sa mundo ang aking mga kaaway. The simple request of Solomon is to have an understanding heart so that he may be able to rule God's people well. Now that is thinking less of self and thinking more of others. If Solomon thought of himself first, he would have prayed for things that would only benefit him. But what Solomon requested from God revealed that he was more concerned about the welfare of God's people entrusted to him. In our gospel today, the apostles of Jesus returned after doing the mission to which Jesus sent them. And Jesus must have felt that his apostles were tired. Pagkatapos na sila'y nagpunta sa iba't ibang lugar, nangaral at nagpagaling, Nung sila'y bumalik kay Jesus, naramdaman ni Jesus na pagod sila. And because of that, Jesus invited them to go to a deserted place, to a quiet place, so that they may be able to rest for a while. Magpahinga muna. Magpalakas muna muli. But when they arrived at the place where they were supposed to take some rest, the people were already there waiting for them. Gusto sana nilang lumayo, magtago, manahimik. Pero kung saan sila magtatago at mananahimik para magpahinga, naunahan pa sila ng mga tao. Kaya pagdating nila, Nandun na yung mga tao. 
Kung ako siguro si Jesus, pinalayas ko ang mga taong yon. Baka uminit na ang ulo ko at sinabi ko, pambihira naman. Pwede bang magpahinga muna kami kahit sandali? But we heard none of those from Jesus. Instead of irritation, anger, Jesus felt pity for the people because they were like sheep without a shepherd. And according to our gospel, Jesus taught them many things. Nagturo pa si Jesus ng maraming bagay sa kanila. What was supposed to be a time for rest became a time to serve. Jesus forgo their need for rest in order to serve the people who are hungry for God's Word. Now that is thinking less of self and thinking more of others. If Jesus thought of themselves first, He would have asked the crowd to just leave If Jesus thought of themselves first, He would have taught them only in a short time. But what Jesus showed us is an example of how it is to think less of self and to think more of others. You know, my dear brothers and sisters, the world teaches us the opposite principle. The, word, the world teaches us to think first of yourself, to think more of yourself, and think less of others. Ang itinuturo ng mundo, unahin mo ang sarili mo. Huwag mo nang pakialaman ng iba. May problema ka din. Bakit mo iisipin ng kapwa mo? Meron ka rin sariling mga alalahanin. Bakit mo paalalahanin ng kapwa mo? Unahin mo ang sarili mo. Mahalin mo ang sarili mo bago mo mahalin ang kapwa mo. That is the way of the world. And much of the sins we commit springs from the fact that we think first of ourselves, we think more of ourselves, and we think less of others. Suriin niyo pong mabuti yung mga kasalanan natin at babalik at uuwi yan sa katotohanang inuuna natin ang ating sarili kaysa sa ating kapwa. Selfishness is about thinking more of yourself than of others. Greed, impatience, is about thinking first of yourself than of others. Lust is about thinking first of what gratifies you than what is good for others. Many of our sins spring from selfishness, which is thinking more of self than of others. And many of the world's problems is rooted in the fact that we think more of ourselves than of others. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate the memorial of Saint Agatha. She lived in the second century, and nothing much is known about her except the fact that she was remarkably beautiful. Magandang dalaga si Saint Agatha. And that was also the reason why she was martyred because she preferred to keep her virginity than to marry a magistrate. And because of that refusal, she was sent to prison Her breasts were crushed and cut off, and she was killed. Her martyrdom is a witness to the example of Jesus, 
thinking less of self and thinking more of others. My dear brothers and sisters, the world teaches us, think more of yourself, think less of others. But Jesus teaches us, think less of yourself, think more of others. Now, we are given a choice, which way will we follow? The way of the world or the way of Jesus? Please stand. Aware of the need to escape from the demanding activity of life, in order to strengthen and restore our inner spirit, we approach God the Father in humble prayer. And for every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who exercise leadership in the church may keep their commitment alive in the preaching of the gospel, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we who are burdened with heavy work may come away and rest a while and find peace in Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who have abandoned their faith may be led back to the family of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That through the intercession of Mary, the sick may find healing from their infirmities. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the faithful departed may dwell in the Lord's house forever. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We remember the people who need our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. Uh -huh. Almighty Father, you call us to be with you. May we be faithful in following your Son on the way to your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the offerings we bring in celebration of blessed Agatha Win your gracious acceptance, O Lord, we pray, just as the struggle of her suffering and passion was pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. 
It is truly right and just, our truth and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr Agatha, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end, we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and, and profess, profess your Lord. resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Agatha, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, 
and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter under, under my roof, roof but, but only say, say the word, word and, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. O God, who bestowed on blessed Agatha a crown among the saints for her twofold triumph of virginity and martyrdom, grant, we pray, through the power of this sacrament, that bravely overcoming every evil, we may attain the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Maria, in the name of